Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to do an advanced filter to use certain criteria to um, filter information from some data and then extract it um, to a different area. And then I also am going to go over how to create subtotals within um, your data. Okay, so on, um, let's start with the advanced filter. So this is for um, the project 5H file and initially when we open the file we have um, the criteria has the online primary delivery mode and the hybrid as the secondary delivery uh, mode and if we look down here in the um, extract area we can see that um, they have run the advanced filter and we have the classes that meet both of those criteria so this would be an and situation so online and hybrid in the instructions they want us to change change the secondary delivery mode to classroom instead of hybrid um, and then we'll rerun the um, advanced filter so I want to go ahead and type that in classroom uh, just a quick little side note make sure when you're typing in this um, any type of criteria that you spell it correctly. I did this um, the other day and I spelled classroom. I forgot one of the O's and I came up with nothing in my extract area and I was thinking I'm pretty sure I did it right and the reason was I came back up here and noticed that I had misspelled classroom so of course it didn't find any without two O's. So just a word to the wise on that. Okay, so I clicked on um, enter just to uh, verify that um, information in the cell. So now we want to go, I'm on the data tab and I'm going to click on the advanced button in the sort and filter group. And instead of filtering the list in place, that would be if you wanted to just look at the information here, I want to copy it to another location. So I'm going to go step uh, you know, step by step here to make sure that I have the information uh, that I'm looking for. So my list range is A7 to G34 and that looks right. If it wasn't, I would just select this information, press delete, and then make your selection again. Okay, um, and then also another kind of little side note, it is really um, the best idea to have, uh, make sure you have this extra row in between um, the items just to make sure it, it helps Excel kind of delineate each section a little bit better. Okay, so now let's look at the criteria range. I have A2 through G3, so that would be A2 through G3. So you always want to make sure you're not only getting the headings, but also definitely the row that has the criteria. So that looks great. And then for my copy two, you only have to select the top information with your headings and then it will place all of the information right below that. So again, we're doing this advanced filter to replace this information. So I have everything looks like selected correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And let's take a peek down here. Okay, so now I have four records that came back with the primary delivery mode of online and the secondary delivery mode of classroom. So I've replaced the information down here with a different um, filter than was initially in the file. Okay, so I hope that that helps um, with uh, that information and again remember if it says we're going to extract you always want to choose copy to another location and then you're uh, pulling that information down into a different area of your worksheet. Okay so the next thing we want to do is apply subtotals. Now um, in the directions it says apply subtotals for the number of students to the database and it, then it says not the extracted list. So we're only going to do subtotals in this main part of the um, information. We're not doing any subtotals down here. Okay, so just in this main part of the list. Um, the, so we want to find the number of students by division. So let's take a look, <clears throat> excuse me, at our information. I can see here there's like the business division. If I come down a little bit, I can see there's the science division technology division, etc. So what we're looking for is the total number of students per division. Um, I can tell you that it is nice that these are all broken out. All of them are next to each other, like all of the technology division are next to each other. If they weren't, then you would certainly want to sort 
on this table and make sure that all of the um, items were all um, adjacent to each other. Okay, so like if I had a business division up here and then another record down here, um, it wouldn't be nearly as clean when you do the subtotal. So in this case, I don't have to sort because they have nicely put the records in with everything next to each other, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so I've clicked anywhere inside my um, database information and I'm still on the data tab. I'm going over to the subtotal group in, or a subtotal button in the outline group. And now I'm looking at my dialog box here. And basically when it, the first thing I'm trying to figure out is what am I looking for to change? And when I'm reading this, the information it's saying that I want to apply subtotals for the number of students by division. So that kind of verbiage gives me the idea that every time the division changes, so I'm choosing division here, so at each change in division I want to sum, sorry about that, I want to sum the um, number of students. Okay, so I'm adding up the number of students. Okay, so we want to make sure, and sorry I clicked outside of that, I just, and uh, I wanted to click back in just to make sure that it knew exactly what area I was working with. Um, if there were any subtotals that were already there, this would replace it, and then we want the sum summary below the data, and I'll show you that in just a sec. So this looks pretty good. We're um, looking at our subtotals. Every time the division changes, I want to see what the total number of students is for that division. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on OK and see what we come up with. Okay. So this is what it means by the totals underneath the data. So I have the business total and the number of students in the business division is 152. If I look down here, the, here's the science total. There's 375 students in, um, in that division. So it's just adding up everything, um, you know, all the students in this science division, etc. So technology, industrial, and then I get a grand total. Okay, so now in the instructions it says display only the subtotal and the grand total in your document. So I can see up here in my outline area I have three different um, basically um, I'll call them layers of information to see. And right now I'm looking at the third which it displays all of the information. If I wanted to display as it says in the instructions just the um, subtotals and the grand total I clicked on the number two that um, collapses the information into just our, our subtotals and grand total. If I just wanted the grand total I could click on the number one and that would show me just the grand total, not none of the other information. So you can see here you can use these easily to manipulate your data if you wanted to see everything you would click on the three. The two is where they want us for this particular assignment um, and the one would just show you the grand total. So basically we um, made uh, created some new criteria here. We extracted the information down here in our extract area. Then we applied subtotals to the, um, the main data in our worksheet. Now, if you have, um, if you ever apply subtotals and it just isn't looking right, you can always remove those subtotals and redo them. So I'll just show you a quick little way to do that. I'm going to select from uh, the business or excuse me, yeah, all these totals and grand totals, okay? And then if we come back over to subtotal, you can see, oops, sorry about that. I should have grabbed the, the um, uh, column titles as well. So if we come back over to subtotal, you can see down here that there is this remove all button. So if I click on that, you can see that all of my subtotals go away. Um, and then I can just start over again. So if you created a subtotal and again it didn't look right, you can just make the selection, remove the subtotals, and then I could go back in and just do my subtotal again. It remembers your last subtotal, so in this case it's still correct. So I can click on OK. That all looks good. I'll click on number two to just change it to just my subtotals and my grand total, and that's it. So I hope that this uh, has been helpful um, 
to you to not only figure out about the extracting of the data using the advanced filter, but also the subtotaling. Okay, so that's it for now. Take care.